greetings Scorpio and Taurus thank you for coming to support me as I support you along the many evolutionary journeys within your soul this is going into your energy bodies your mental emotional physical and spiritual to see what's going on what your team your guide source the divine however God wants to bring it to you um, this is general you can check other placements if you so desire if your residence is not here also all that jazz you know what to do if you so desire all the information you need for any personal consultations with or without cards will be down in the description box as well as my cash app and my disclaimer um, for those of you that do not know, I am Mama So Lily. I come with my false flaws, hiccups, and all imperfections and interruptions too, okay? So, Scorpio and Taurus, we are going to see what is going on in the mental, okay? First, of course. Do keep in mind as well that the story unfolds as we add more, okay? As we go along, the clarity of the message becomes more clearer, okay? For those of you that may be popping in, you have to give the message a little bit of time to see how it may be of use for you. All right, let's get into this energy. Supreme creative source, ancient of the ancient ancestors in the higher realms of our greatest good and the higher selves of the collective individuals of Scorpio and Taurus. Self-reflection. At the bottom of the deck, we have entitled. Entitled. Entitlement. Self-reflection. I have been doing a lot of that deeply within me. Looking inward helps you see what to improve to make choices, better choices. So this is the mental mind really analyzing and looking at some information. And the entitled says expecting special treatment without earning it. Mm. Be grateful for what you have. Well, that is definitely something that I have truly have had to come to grips with, you know, truly been looking into that as to really realize and understand through the reflection of myself into myself that no one owes me anything, nor do I owe anyone anything, okay? So what do you have that you value? that is important to you that you see you may need to improve about yourself. All right, emotional body. The solar plexus at the and the heart, passion. This passion feels like it's stemmed through dedication and a strong desire to be a better person. And then you have sexuality, okay? Sharing, honor. This is also, oh, I forgot. YouTube, okay. This is emotionally open. This is um, feeling a little vulnerable a little exposed. Yeah, this is feeling very open and exposed emotionally. It's like you're sharing all of your emotions, the good, the bad, the beautiful, the ugly, the indifferent, you know, this is feeling like emotionally seeking compromise, okay? Yeah, and the passion of the heart, the desire, fulfillment, just compromise, it's compromise. All right, the physical. What do we need to see or know about the physical? Scorpio and Taurus. Some of you have that mindset that you, you know, that you don't have to do certain things with that entitled entitlement. 
constantly setting expectations or thinking things are supposed to be a certain way when in actuality, what are you implementing within it to get you where you need to go? Home is at the bottom of the deck. I feel as though that was Sagittari Sagittarius Gemini energy that actually had that physically on the table and not an underline. And we have Jim. Mm, I'm guilty. Work out. I'm guilty. Hmm. This feels like some of you may need to work out to help open up your sacral chakra that'll give you a deeper insight into the parts of the mind and where you may need to improve or reflect. And what does this gym say? Fitness training, strengthening, and endurance. This is something with your physical body, your tabernacle. I got the sticks backwards, as always. I have this little irritating piece of cloth on my table because somebody spilt um, cornstarch all over my thing and I'm tired and I don't want to change it. So. I'm using my black moon for the spiritual energy and we will get more. I don't know, Source. I feel like I'm discombobulated at this moment. Spiritual. Pisces. I believe that's the bottom, but that's my top. So let's see what's here. Grand Cross. Provoke. Provoker. Hmm. I don't know. I'm not familiar with that placement. Provoker. Solar Eclipse Revelation. Still a little spooky. Hmm. That solar eclipse that just took place on April the 8th has brought in a lot of revelations here in looking at the self-reflection, you know, within the mind and what your belief system is, how you make sense of information, you know, even with the sacral energy being here. Let's get another layer to this. I could have sworn I heard somebody come in here. Come up. The spirit of some of Scorpio Taurus needs to come out of the del delusionment of the imagination the delusionment of past beliefs that this is something that your mind may need to um, look at you know to make better choices in who's governing over the choices that you're making or is this the influence of other people you know that in the gym saying you know you need to do this you need to do that oh you do this you do that you do this you do that then you'll get this result you know, instead of tapping into the divine within your solar plexus, within yourself, to see what it is that you really need and not the influence or the thoughts or the inputs of others on the outside of you. All right, this self-reflection within the mental body. The Eight of Swords. This is woe is me, mentally challenged. This is I done got up and I done left the mental anguish. This is still being caught in it. And that's why 
it's important for a lot of the Scorpio Tauruses to really self-reflect, to really go into the mind. It's really important for you to look at how you can help yourself within your mind. Whether you set certain affirmations, whether you listen to certain meditations to help the reprogramming of the mind may be beneficial for this energy here, for those that are within this. And for others of you, this is really making better choices so that your mind doesn't feel like it's just uh, bogged down and just not able to get up and move again. The gym, the body unable to get up and move again. The emotional body. Six of Cups, things of the past something of the past something of nostalgia some of you are well i have me personally i have been looking over the things of the past and how i raised my children how i was raised looking at how i give love how i want to receive love you know looking at the things that i have accepted and consented within my life and the things that I no longer consent and what I'm willing to remove myself from because it's not bringing me the joy and the stability that I desire to have within my physical tabernacle whether it's my physical body or my physical tabernacle as in my sanctuary within my home and this is um really important that joy and that compassion because it builds up the self-esteem. Why do people go to the gym? They go to the gym because they want to raise their self-esteem. They're after some type of fitness goal of something, but it's because of the weight and the pressure of the world that has placed these stigmas into our minds that has created our self-esteem to be kind of low here, okay? Things of the past and what the adult has fed or taught you. All right, the physical body. What else do we have for the physical body? Supreme. I mean, not what else, but anyway. The page of swords. People are watching you. Hmm. This is reverse. This is learning and astute and, you know, clear headed and clear information. This is physical body, Scorpio and Taurus. This is the same mental anguish. The body that's not learning or the body's within drought. Because this is like backwards, but this is forward, but the face of shame. This may be some people that have face of shame in your energy for some of you. This can be the face of shame towards self. Remember, it can it's always self-reflection that is then on the outside of you that reflects back to you as that reminder the six of cups the spiritual body of Pisces I believe the physical body is asking some of you to watch the things that you eat I am so guilty and I've been hearing my higher self speak to me in regards to that but my environment of my home is so much and so tight and so not private that self-care and self-love is a little difficult at this time for me and it's been making me feel some type of way like you know um yeah and I feel like I'm entitled to some type of privacy, you know, and time for myself. I do. I feel as though that I am entitled to that. So I'm definitely, when 
that opportunity and that space and that time takes place for me, I'm definitely going to be extra grateful, you know, and it's also going to help me to be able to come out of whatever that may be holding me back. So if it's something holding me back, then there's something holding you back. And it's also, it feels as simple as the inner child not being able to express its creative parts of the self, okay? Because remember again, the passion, the heart, right? The inner child, the heart, the joy, the things that makes you feel like sunshine, you know, that even if it's raining, it still makes you wanna jam dance and be joyous. And we have the King of Wands. Manipulation? Yeah. There's some spiritual manipulation. This is the King of Wands. This is a manipulator. This is a succubus, incubus, I hear. Spirit. Okay. This has been coming through a lot. A lot of uh, monitoring spirits. A lot of energy attachments. A lot of things are attached to the energies within the collective. But it feels as though that there's something that needs to be seen in the midst of this for my Scorpio Tauruses to actually come to the awareness. And once the awareness is in, once the awareness comes, you know, and who's sending out the fiery darts by noonday that you can actually take those fiery darts and actually catch them instead of returning them back, casting them back. You actually utilize and transmute it from a fiery dart to something of a tool or, yeah, of a tool that you can actually use for your greatest development, for your greatest purpose, okay? And at the bottom, we have the hangman. Yeah. There's something else here. I'm just not picking up on it yet because I have a couple people moving around. My interruptions. I know this was hot. Did it just steam my glasses? I'm scared, y'all. I ain't gonna front. <laughs> Mama's so a little scared. I need to take the top off this sucker because that sucker is hot. I don't know if you can see the steam. But I need a little sip sip. Damn, I can't even take a sip. I'm scared, y'all. I'm scared I'm going to burn my lips. <laughs> yep. And my tongue. So the wildest thing is not to do it, right? Substitute. Mm, replacement. Alternative. Have different options different avail things to your availability because there was i said something about the tools of the fury darts and how to utilize them or how to transmute ch change the weapon into something that you can use they said look at the split yeah the weapon that you can turn into something that you can use the ace of pinnacles that's physically used taking the energy of the sword which is the air the things that people speak out against you or the energies that attach themselves to you and how to transmute it into something physical that you can use okay towards your greatest good growth and development instead of being stuck within the energy of the mind and allowing people to hold you down mentally, okay? Instead of freeing yourself from the mental anguish so that you can actually go get the proper rest that you need. Like I said, with my situation, you know, I feel like I'm a mental prisoner, you know, with no privacy and no adequate space for me and my family, you know, so, and it's difficult and it's making you know, things difficult and making better choices or more sound decisions, you know, because the emotions feel a little trapped, you know. I do desire Mama Soul Lily is transmitting this message clearly. 
but let's get a little more on this tea and then we're going to get a concluding message all right let's get a little more on this supreme the mental oh is that the moon or is that the death card the death card I need something else with that. This is transfiguring, transfiguring, recalibrating the mind. Self-reflection is needed to assist you in the recalibration of the mind, the self-improvement of the mind. Here's the Six of Cups again in a whole different deck. This is the opposites and this is the other deck. transmuting the past. There's something here within the collective individuals of the Scorpio Taurus energy that you, it is really important for you to take the time to go inward, to do the self-reflection, to bring whatever this is of the past that you're dealing or holding on to within your traumas and disappointments. The areas within conflict the parts that bind and hold your mind from being willing or able to share or expand the self or to be within one's fulfillment of your desires. Whether this is at the gym, whether this is at home, whether this is at work, whether the, this is at the supermarket, whether this is a love relationship, however this may be that could have been a bad situation, whether this was a love relationship that was from your mother, father, or whoever was your guardians that was you were around within your environmental influence, okay? Love relationship that has created or molded you into this energy. Okay, where was I? The death. Yeah, you got to bring death to the things of the old past beliefs here. Spiritual. Yeah, old past beliefs. The old traditions. The old ways of how to make sense. The logical ways that you have been using or the practical ways that you've been using. Something's no longer working in your mental psychosis, okay? Something within you, within your mental psychosis is trying to upgrade, is trying to push you forward, compel you forward so that this energy can actually change for you. But it's going to require for you to self-reflect into your mind and the things of your past. There's no way around it, especially with the Pisces, I believe, and then this death of self-reflection coming here of the past and the Eight of Swords. It's strong here. Let's move forward to the emotional body. Give us a little more on the emotional body of I heard, ooh, ooh, be do, very good. I picked it up and I'm taking it the way that I picked it up. I'm not gonna turn it up right. Oh, I gotta take it the way it is because they touched over. Oh, look, it, it still freaks me out when that happens. But anywho, we got the higher font, Taurus in reverse. This is being too caught up emotionally in the things of the past within tradition, within your indoctrination, within your environmental influences, okay? This is this is holding a lot of my Scorpio Tauruses closed off, unable to reach its fullest passion, passion within sexual, sensual energy. Sexuality is creative energy. It is the wand that is in reverse it is the king of wands the queen of wands the ace of wands okay it is the sexual sensual energy to create whatever it is that you desire some of you are staying in the old frames of thought institutions of thought okay religions of thought and how you should work or what you should be doing, what you should be going to school for, 
etc. Didn't I say something about that earlier with the gym? The labels and what someone, the influences and what you need to do for you, for your body. How can someone tell you what you need to do for your body when your body and your spirit and your team and everything communicates outwardly to you, inwardly and outwardly to you? And this outwardly because it's through the reflections of other people and the things that have been from your past. Recall, remembrance, what they call memory memories you know photo shots photo books memories <laughs> yeah i know i'm specially different fan <laughs> i heard she's specially different yes mama so lily is a little specially different okay the seven of pentacles yeah it's reevaluating Reevaluate re 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 your physical things, okay? Your inventory. Reevaluate, right? What you going to the gym for? What is your body going to the gym for? To reevaluate what? What's working? What's not working with for you? Is this really helping me to endure? Or is this just holding me back and keeping me trapped in the mind of the old? There's a strong um, choice. Oh, I see the other pole to this. In the message when I was speaking about other people watching you, the monitoring spirits, the spirits or energies, entities that's trying to attach to you, the divine or your higher self and those of who you call to are asking you to reevaluate, to look at those, the seven of pentacles, look at the physical people and the energy, the energy that you're picking up on them. If you're still questioning and doubting, then you have learned nothing. If you are actually seeing and you're acknowledging it for what it is and you're coming to the acceptance, you're about to make a move, okay? You're about to make a strong change, okay? You're about to come out of that. You're about to be done with the foolishness, okay? Because you've done collected all the information that you needed about these particular energy vampires. Yeah, you're about to... Yo, the fool, you about to take me, get it. Poop. Anywho, let mama soul keep going. And the spiritual. The empress. Nurture your spirit, nurture your mind. This is straight self-love, self-care. You know, finding your private time to self-reflect. Um, cultivate your sensual, cre sexual, creative energy, that passion, that thrive that lives within your heart, okay? To come to make sense of the things that you are, that you may have been thinking that you're not entitled to, but you are entitled to what you need for you, the individual, the beliefs that you create for yourself, okay? But remember, don't overthink it. Yeah, the Empress with the Ace of Cups at the bottom of the deck, family, we can't, we, we just can't make this up. This is love, self-love, self-devotion, self-care. And I'm on my way. I done cleared up a lot of this mental anguish and bull crap out of my life. And I have put it to rest, a lot of the things of the past. And some of you may have been doing that and have put some things to rest, but you're waiting for things to pick up. You know, you're just waiting in that process for things to pick up so that you can actually get to that position in where you desire. Me, myself, and the I, I'm right there knocking at the door. Energy for me, not that anyone care, maybe you do, the solar 
solar eclipse it's about to pick up whatever you were looking at and thinking about a year ago something that you have already been doing or manifesting within the ethers do by doing the work some of you not many but some of you are actually coming into that physical thing of your desires and mine has been a home a new home for me and my children to be able to have the space that we need and Mama So Lily have a room for her own privacy and not having to be subject to sharing a room with her child. Too much information, but who cares? Maybe it's not. Maybe some people need to come to understand that sometimes under life circumstances, you gotta sacrifice and work with what you got. I don't know who that may need to hear that. Sometimes you got to work what you got until you can do better. And you got to be patient. And like I said, you have to endure. Because as you endure and you go through the trials and the tribulations, what happens, it puts you where you have no other choice to be that Rapunzel up in the tower and self-reflect in how you've been keeping yourself as a prisoner. Because of the company or the people that you keep. The baggage within your energetic field that you've been allowing to infiltrate or penetrate the things and how you believe or make sense of information or influence your life. Anyways, 3133. Let's see what your concluding message is. You have the nurture. You have to nurture and love yourself. I went to the lake, to the river, lake. Yes, on the summer solstice, my daughter's earthborn day, my 11 year old, we went to the, to the lake, to the little safari thing. I got a little video I haven't uploaded and a little clip I'm gonna put together for my YouTube family, you know. And then the day, I have a lake that's down the road, not much, but it's a lake, it's a body of water. And I was telling my sister, like, yeah, I went to the lake. Why? Because I can't get the peace and the serenity in my house. So I have to go and find it somewhere. And it has been with Mother Nature, going by the little water, Mama Water. All right, enough about me, let's get back to you. Even though you can learn from me to help you. All right, let's go. Let's get it. Let's get it. What's that concluding message? Supreme Creative Source for my Scorpios and Taurus. The Phoenix and the Star. Yeah, I told y'all y'all got something coming. Beware of the chameleons. Beware of the false prophets, the false spiritualists, the false energy that's been trying to attach or trying to camouflage themselves to make themselves fit into the situation or within your life and how they may have been trying to uh, sweet talk their words to keep you trapped in the things of the old so that you can improve the parts of you that you need to improve, improve for thyself. Yeah. Anywho, we have the Phoenix. Yes, because a lot. No, they said no majority but not a lot in the grand scale that i was expressing that so it's a mass majority that are actually coming to this rise in dreams and wish fulfillments and opportunities there's still a lot that is here that still needs to do a lot of self-reflecting and looking into the things of the past here and what's working and what's not working for you. How are you being manipulative, manipulative within this king of wands that's in reverse? How are you not inspired within love, peace, passion, tranquility? How are you using and cultivating your spiritual gifts or your creative gifts that have been bestowed upon you that is inside of your ancient DNA, which is also the sacral energy, okay? And this energy of the Empress and the energy of the cup. Oh, the cup has the moon underneath of it. Fear not, my child. Fear not. Fear not the things that are hidden within the shadows. The shadows have many treasures that are there for you to collect and, yeah, to collect and consume for thyself. You have the Phoenix and the Star. 
25, 29. It says, be Phoenix, be prepared to be renewed after a period of crises. I tell you, family, I have been feeling like I have been a cri in a crisis. Me and my children, and then now my firstborn son and his family being in the house. I already was feeling that energy before they came. Like I was in a crisis, like I was suffocating, like... <gasps> That's why I got that she shit. Anywho, it had to go back though, but I enjoyed it while I could. But yeah, I don't know if I showed that, but I'm gonna show it again, okay? And the star, hard times are over. Listen to what Mama Soul Lily is telling y'all, what she's feeling in this energy. Look forward to an abundance of happiness, enthusiasm, and positivity. Look forward to it because I am. Mama Soul Lily is truly looking forward to it. And it's literally around the corner within less than 40 to 45 days. Less than 45 days. Okay. I'm getting ready to be moving. I'm getting ready to be hustling and bustling. Getting it done. Why? Because it's time to go. I've been talking a lot here on my channel and me preparing getting packing and all of that a year later and some change it's manifesting it's there the key is there it's physical and until then if you made it this far you know what to do like subscribe share comment even if it's an emoji to let me know that you received the message as well as hit that bell notification so you know when i go live upload or do a premiere and until next time my beautiful souls for those of you that got to do the work let's get the work done because you ain't hurt nobody but you and until then i say and those that are doing the work congratulations bye to high